Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's brand new multiplayer features, and why this game could be the biggest leap for online communication in the Pokemon franchise's history. Now the title on this thumbnail is Pokey MMO. Pokey MMO is an online uh, multiplayer ROM hack of some of the old GBA Pokemon games that a lot of people have played. It's still up and it's a little facetious because this is not a massively multiplayer game. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is still a Pokemon RPG. But some of the elements we saw in the newest trailer for Scarlet and Violet show us that the online component is going to be larger than ever. One of the biggest things we saw is up to four players out in the natural environment, the landscape of this Spanish based Pokemon region. I really wish they would give us the region name by now, but we're going to continue to refer to it as Spain. Not only are there four players roaming around the region at the same time, but there are also their partner Pokemon following them. We also see a trade commence in this area, and it is teased that there is some sort of gimmick involving the moving of Pokemon, maybe via trade or some other element at the very end of the trailer. So the online communication features that have always existed in Pokemon Pokemon are seemingly going to be more important than ever in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, one of the things they mentioned in the trailer, and it's on the Pokemon.com website as well, is that you're going to be able to play this game at your own pace, at your own leisure. This is what a lot of open world games do to try and allow the player to explore every single aspect of the game while exploring the story that is being presented to them at the pace that they choose. Adding a multiplayer element into this is going to allow players to really craft their own story and their own adventure in Scarlet and Violet. You want to play with a friend who's across the country, you want to explore the early beginnings of the game with them, maybe have a couple battles, do a couple trades, and then go about pursuing the story. It it seems that you're going to be able to do that. If you want to ignore the multiplayer entirely and just play this as a solo adventure as you normally would another Pokemon game, you are also going to be able to do that. One of the things that I praise from the Pokemon franchise time and time again is how customizable it is. The way in which you go about building a team, how you decide to fight through the main story, eventually collect all your gym badges, a lot of that is up to you. Legends Arceus improved on this even more by granting you the ability to do a variety of different side quests, some of which granted you special items, special access to Pokemon, but none, a lot of them weren't required. None of them, some of them were, but some of them weren't. This allows the player character to really pursue their own journey. This also goes to what Pokemon you catch, how you catch Pokemon. You want to hunt for a shiny team? Go right ahead. Spend hundreds of hours trying to find these rare, oddly colored versions of Pokemon to use on your team. This is the strength of Pokemon. Its roster of creatures allows for every single player to have their own experience. Adding more advanced multiplayer features onto this already deep customization aspect of Pokemon is only going to make this even better better. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also greatly appreciated. It appears that this is not only something you're going to be able to do with friends right next to you. If you're sitting on the couch and you want to do a little local battling and local trading, that's been in the Pokemon series for as long as there have been link cables. But this appears to be something that's going to work with Nintendo Switch Online. You're going to be able to play through Scarlet and Violet, at least some elements of it, with other players. This is probably why there are a bunch of features in the natural environment of Scarlet and Violet that aren't usually there. The gas station-esque Pokemon centers, for example, that are going to be not just in towns and cities, but also in the open environments, is something that's new for the Pokemon franchise and something that is clearly meant to continue to push this idea of communication, staying out in the world, spending time in this natural environment, and not necessarily needing to go from town to town just to progress the story. 
the trainer customization options that were on display in the trailer which are also on display in the video's thumbnail also really hit home at this there seem to be a ton of options for shirts and clothing and hairstyles skin colors all of these different things that are going to continue to hopefully push pokemon into the future and give trainers a better way to express themselves when you allow every single pokemon trainer in these games to look drastically different it enhances that multiplayer connectivity it's really weird when you play some uh, online games and everybody has the same avatar it doesn't really feel as immersive so for pokemon to be expanding their multiplayer features while also adding better trainer customization is another element to this which just screams multiplayer and it's really cool to see there's another piece to this trailer. At one point, we see some of the players uh, making different hand gestures and facial expressions at the same time, leading some people to speculate that there are emoticons in this game. You can select a certain action and your character will do that. That is another really cool thing for communication. Nintendo has historically struggled with allowing players to communicate in their games, his, uh, famously not allowing a lot of online voice chat in their games because of prior privacy concerns for kids and not wanting kids to talk to strangers, you know, the family friendly aspect of Nintendo. Emoticons is one way to maybe lessen that, even though most people who are going to play Scarlet and Violet together are probably going to be talking on Discord at the same time that they're playing. So it's a nice feature. It's a nice thing that continues to add to that immersion. And it's just something that's good to see. The following Pokemon is really exciting because we don't have all the answers just yet. When we saw four players out in the open area together, we saw that they had Pokemon following behind them. Maybe this is a feature that's locked behind multiplayer because at one point we also saw four individual trainers running around in different environments and they didn't have the Pokemon following them. So we don't know fully yet how immersive this feature is going to be, but we do know that it is a major component, at least of the multiplayer. If you're able to seamlessly battle with other trainers that you're playing with, trade with them, maybe there are special Pokemon that are only available in Scarlet and Violet having to do with this whole ancient history versus futuristic aesthetic that they seem to be going for with these games, that is probably also going to be another element that contributes to this game's multiplayer capabilities. We haven't had a lot of evolutions in Pokemon's multiplayer. We started with the Link Cable in the Game Boy era where you could trade with your friends. Eventually, when we got into the DS era, they added online and you could trade. Remember the GTS that you could pull up on your computer, see the Pokemon being sent across the globe. We had things like the PSS in X and Y or the Entralink in Black 2 and White 2 and Black and White Generation 5, but there haven't really been any major advancements in terms of multiplayer in Pokemon's history. And I think Scarlet and Violet, based on what we've seen in this early trailer, we don't, we don't know a ton yet, they seem to be taking a step forward and allowing you to have a more immersive experience with your friends, and I think that is wonderful. But I want to know what you guys think. Were you excited? by the multiplayer capabilities of Scarlet and Violet that were shown off in the trailer? Is it something that you're going to use, maybe play through the game with your friends, do more trading and battling with each other, just really take advantage of it if you have Switch Online, I would assume? I would love to know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, let me know down in the comments if you want to see more Scarlet and Violet videos like this in the future, and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss another upload. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.